Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career reading for the end of October right through to the end of November 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details and I will also never give give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Gemini, this is your career reading. Firstly, I'd like to apologize for the length of time it has taken me to get this to you. Unfortunately, uh, I've been very unwell. Me and my family came down with a really nasty bug and I was bedridden for just over a week. Uh, but I'm getting stronger um, and I'm back doing the readings now. So let's get straight to it, okay? The first pile is going to be your pile, uh, the way you feel about your career right now, how you're embracing the energy and approaching your career. And the second pile will be any obstacles or blockages or areas you feel need work in your career and the third pile will be the outcome the unified energy okay uh, things that are going to help you as you move forward now they want me to go one more so I will thank you so much for it guys great needles can you please guide my beautiful Gemini what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good now just to let you know of course we have a new moon eclipse in Scorpio on the 25th of October and eclipses tend to bring very uncertain energy so you may even have moments of doubt about your career whether you're headed in the right direction or even feel a little bit unmotivated um, sort of eclipses tend to expose weaknesses or areas where we feel unmotivated or areas where we need uh, or feel we need big changes so that's what you can feel during this period okay now of course we do have mercury a wonderful alignment between Mercury, planet of communication, and Mars, planet of action. Uh, that's going to give you a chance to influence your circumstances to head in the right direction. That's why I'm loving seeing the chariot card there for you. Uh, but of course, um, whilst Mercury goes direct, which is very positive in terms of communication, negotiating better deals, uh, really bringing those ideas to life and obtaining your goals, uh, we do have Mars going retrograde at the end of the month. Now, Mars going retrograde can make us feel a little bit lackluster. It can make us feel like we have low energy or motivation to move forward, but it does give us an opportunity to reimagine areas of our career or our life in general that can be improved, okay? Gives us uh, an opportunity to improve things in our life and take charge. So um, let us see. I've got to get that card for you. That Whoa. Uh, quite explosive energy at the end of the month for you. The cards are, um, well, I'm not surprised. Look at that. Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to go and get that other card. One moment, please. Okay, we've got a Three of Cups. So, let's see what's going on for you. Your starting card is the Temperance card. So you may feel a little bit like meh about your career at the moment. You may feel like you're putting a lot of hard work into it all but you may feel like you've plateaued in some area of your career and you feel like things are not really like moving forward or backwards you may feel a little bit stationary at this time especially since we got the hangman in your resistance position you may feel like you're with with the chariot card you will have some changes you may have a change of direction perhaps in your career especially since we have the new moon eclipse well we have got two eclipses actually one is on the 6th of november as well so eclipses tend to make us think about radical changes as well um, and you've got the nine of cups so i feel like right now 
there's an element here. You, of course, you've got goals and things you want to accomplish, but I feel like you've plateaued in some way where you're feeling like you're in a bit of a routine or you feel like you're in a repetitive cycle and you want a little bit more excitement in your career. Um, and I feel like you've got some, it's almost like I see you making a list right now of the things that you wish for in your career, the things that you wish for change. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the Temperance card is patiently sort of moving ahead to where you want to go. Okay, so you may be uh, feeling a little bit stagnant, um, but actually you may be moving at a snail pace towards uh, whatever it is you are trying to accomplish. Uh, but the Temperance card indicates keeping balanced. So right now you're trying to find a way to find balance between uh, you know, your work practices, uh, all the attention that you put on your, your career perhaps, and also on your private life, you know, having that pleasure um, as well as work. So uh, you know, you're trying to be adaptable or be flexible. Now you may also notice that in some areas of your life, especially since I'm seeing a Knight of Pentacles here and a, a Knight of Cups, you may feel like you've been working really hard and um, it's like you put all your energy into your career and you may feel like like other areas of your life suffer for example uh, your love life or, or perhaps you know you haven't seen your friends as much as you like to because your career is taking a forefront uh, because the, the chariot card is an ambitious card so right now you maybe feel like your focus is on your career and obtaining your goals and accomplishing all the things that you set out to do but you may be also looking at your habits and looking at other areas in your life that you feel like you're neglecting okay because that temperance card actually asks you to find that balance or even meditate on the things uh, that you want and make compromises in some areas of your life in order to obtain you know something in another area of your life this tends to be a benevolence energy okay so uh, with this card the temperance card can be that you're turning things around you're tempering um, you know the energy and you're turning things it's almost like revamping or rejuvenating your energy in order to mix things up and create something really special uh, the temperance card tends to be about blending energies all your talents coming together and creating something really wonderful allowing yourself to rise okay as you can see we've got like the bird of prey there so you've got your eye on something uh, you've definitely got a focus um, something you really want to achieve but you may be a little bit nervous about how you're going to get there or how you're going to accomplish that goal but if you follow your heart this card indicates following your heart will lead you to peace peace of mind but also the career that you desire and it will allow you to rise okay so i definitely see you elevating in your career using your skill set to accomplish what you truly deserve because you put so much hard work blood sweat and tears into everything that the justice card at the end here indicates you will get what you deserve okay you will get uh, your commitment will actually reap the rewards <coughs> excuse me now the chariot card in this position indicates you may have a directional change or you may decide on uh, shaking things up in your uh, career. Some of you may decide to move um, further afield, step into a new opportunity or a promotion raise. This indicates that you have a choice about the direction you head in. And whilst there is a certain element of uh, you having control or taking control of your career um, and heading in a direction that you wish to go in there is another element to this which is fate destiny okay because whenever you see a chariot um, as you can see the person who is governing the chariot uh, as you can see there right on the top there's like wonderful orb star um, on the crown chakra so that is to know that you will be successful know that you are headed in the right direction and you will it to life you will your direction as you move forward, your ability to call in your power and affect change is unlimitless, but there's no reins on the chariot. So that indicates there is a certain element of fate helping you end up to where you want to go. And what we've got wonderfully here at the end of the outcome, we've got destiny intervening to help you on the path to get to where you want to go. So whilst 
there is a lot of hard work, tenacity, talent, drive that you have. Uh, you're very creative, very talented at what you do. Uh, you've come with a certain special set of skills to this lifetime um, to be on a mission, for example, and do whatever it is you want to accomplish. And destiny will intervene to help you move forward and follow your bliss. Okay, so um, the chariot card indicates that you will be successful. There is victory here. Now, you may have come off the back of having some sort of good news already in your career. Because the Chariot card and the Nine of Cups is like, you know, um, celebrating some sort of win there or some sort of breakthrough. And if you haven't had it yet, it's definitely very close by, okay? The Chariot card represents uh, motivation, tenacity, um, you know, commitment to your goals and dreams and being brave enough to assert yourself, to head in the direction of them regardless of any obstacles. Uh, this is also a card to remind you to keep a tight rein on your finances at this time, taking control of things and not letting, you know, your spending spiral and things like that. So I feel like you are tempering um, maybe, I mean, economically the way that the world is right now there's a lot of bills to pay that everything's rising we've got inflation so of course i feel like you're being very savvy by with that temperance card being balanced in the way that you know you receive money and the way that you try and save it or be resourceful with it so that you make what you have go a long way okay so i definitely see that um i see that you will be able to save a little bit more money at the end of the month okay even if you've uh, things have been a bit, little bit difficult or a little bit tight, uh, I feel like you're going to surprise yourself that actually you're going to have a little bit of a nest egg at the end of the month that of course you will do whatever you want to do with that, whether it's to save. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles, I see it being saved, um, but you know, because with the Hermit as well, I feel like you're making really good decisions um, and you are very wise about how you're using your finances, okay? Now the Nine of Cups indicates a wish fulfillment. It indicates, uh, you know, you sort of deciding what it is you want to focus on and accomplish that. It's like you're wishing for something here. You're trying to manifest something here. And the Wheel of Fortune is delivering justice, okay? So I actually see you um, obtaining a lot of success. This is about your dreams coming true. This is, uh, you know, um, hard-earned money headed your way and you enjoying life. Uh, life is for living, of course, and uh, the more we try and earn and save, of course, you know, the better, um, or put your money to good use or good work, as it were. Um, but I feel, you know, you're trying to enjoy yourself as well. So for some of you, you may be asking bigger questions over the eclipse season, like, is my heart really in my work? And if it's not, fulfilling what do I need to change in order to make it more fulfilling some of you may actually decide to leave because the chariot card is a movement card so some of you may be putting the feelers out there to see if you can accomplish you know an interview for a new job or a new position or even a raise or promotion so I feel like whatever direction you want to head in you're going to get your desire you're going to accomplish it so I would say you know be careful what you wish for um of course, money is important. You've got the Knight of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups. Um, you know, following money is, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. We all need money to live. We all need to pay bills, etc., etc. But I feel like it's not going to be your be-all and end-all in terms of your choices regarding your career. Money is important, of course, but I feel it's more about you making your mark, feeling like you have a purpose, that you're reaching a goal, and that um, you know you have your whole heart and soul into it. So I feel like it's more about a sense of achievement that you're trying to accomplish in your career as you elevate. And the money will actually flow to you naturally. So there is more money coming on in. And of course, we all do jobs that we don't particularly like or ha you know that we have to just to get by, pay the bills. So I do feel like some of you, if you've got um, a mainstream of income, perhaps whether you like it or not, that's your call. Um, but I feel like some of you may set up a second stream of income, something that, um, you know, brings in more money, but also something that you really love doing. So even if you work in an office and you're like, yeah, I like
like my job. It's kind of cool, but I really love doing this other thing on the side. I definitely see you setting up a stream of income that is like a side hustle because a chariot card is a card of duality, which means, you know, you could be pulled in different directions and your focus will be required. So if you've got many streams of income or you've got fingers in many pies or lots of ideas of how to set up businesses or set up your own business, I feel like with that temperance card, you're going to find balance in order to focus on one thing and then the other rather than scattering your energy you know when you've got lots to do and you've got scattered energy you feel like you're not accomplishing anything in any area because you feel like you're giving a little bit of attention there 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 you feel so scattered that you feel like you're still not moving forward so i actually see you streamlining your um your focus and concentrating on each area of your life um, sort of like 100%. So if you're like focusing on one career one day and then the next day you're focusing on something else, I actually see you accomplishing great things and a lot of money flowing to you uh, because of that, okay? Uh, but this indicates you're going to get a wish or a desire in your career. You're going to have it show up for you. Now in the resistance position, we've got the hangman. So some of you may have felt like you have hit a glass ceiling in your career or you've hit a plateau and you, you really desire a breakthrough. There needs to be some sort of change that goes on in your career. So with that temperance card, I see you weighing up your options, um, mixing things, blending things, cooking things up, ideas, and uh, you know, wondering how to move forward on the next part of your plan. And you will hit it right on, it's almost like you uh, you know, you hit the nail right on the head and you sort of like, um, you, how can I put that? It's like you hit the ground running. You, you actually accomplish whatever it is you're setting out to do first time round. But even if you, you know, feel like the first time you did it, it didn't go as well as you'd hoped because there's an element of perfectionism here uh, that I'm feeling coming through the reading. I, f I see you finding a solution to it and sort of like pushing past the obstacle in order to win the next time round. As you can see, this figure here is feeling pretty cramped, uh, maybe even a little bit cabin fever. If you work in an office, for example, you may be feeling it's a little bit same old, same old, same old conversation by the water cooler, same old people. You know, you may love the people that you work with, but you may feel like there needs to be some sort of radical change or something different. So you may be feeling that you're unstretched right now or unfulfilled. And the hangman indicates that you're due a breakthrough. As you can see, this person is reaching up. It's about time that this person with the death card symbol there change, that is a transformation symbol. Uh, if things are becoming a little bit sort of saturated or you're feeling a little bit claustrophobic in your career and you feel like things have not been moving in the right direction, I feel like the decisions you're making throughout the next four to five weeks actually unlock your prosperity and help you break through that energy. Um, you won't be feeling in limbo for much longer. Um, the hangman also indicates getting a new perspective on your career. So even if you like and love where you work right now, but you feel a little bit unfulfilled or unstretched, you may be changing the way that you actually work or implementing your skills in a new way in order to keep things a little bit more exciting or preserve your um, sort of energy and take a fresh approach at the way that you work just so that you keep you know things ticking over nicely now for some of you you may be working really hard investing a lot of your energy into your career and you may feel like even if you've been promised a promotion or a raise by your boss, you may feel like it's a long time coming. It hasn't shown up for you, okay? Because that hangman indicates a wait. So the Knight of Pentacles is the most slowest moving night. So this can mean that your hard work is going to pay off. You are headed in the right direction and you're committed to your goals and dreams. You know you will be successful, but it's been a hard slog, okay? So I feel like you are actually um, going to capitalize financially. There is an opportunity perhaps of a, a, a job opportunity that is going to be offered to you because I feel like patiently you may be waiting for a new job or raise or some sort of money news. Uh, it could be, you know, as I said, promotion or you could be even thinking about investing in setting up your own business. But this card indicates that your finances are based 
on your hard work and you're actually careful with your spending right now um, as we move throughout the next four to five weeks. Of course, you know, if we look at the news, uh, things like energy bills, prices, uh, you know, um, gas, all of those things, everything, including inflation, rising. So I definitely see you sort of like making really solid and um, good ideas decisions, not ideas, uh, making solid decisions um, and, you know, safeguarding, protecting the money that you've already made. For example, some of you, uh, you know, are holding on to your finances, uh, maybe reshuffling things around just to make sure that you have them in institutions that you trust and you feel are protected by certain governing bodies. Should there ever be any sort of economic downturn? I mean, globally, the financial markets are a little bit tumultuous, to say the least. So I feel like actually you are making really good decisions to um, investigate um, where your finances are at and make sure that they're in a place that you feel is secure, okay? Uh, the Knight of Pentacles also indicates um, you being uh, really practical and professional at what you do. You're hardworking. Um, you are good at what you do. You're very detailed. You're very talented, but you're also determined to make more money. So as I see, uh, it could be a second stream of income, perhaps something that you're really talented at, something that you may even do from the home space because we've got the hermit right there. So it could be a creative talent that you've got because everything you turn your hand to, my beautiful Gemini, you're actually really talented at it. And I feel like you will make it work. It may be slow moving, but it's definitely very successful and lucrative. Uh, we have a three of cups here and it's in the resistance position. So you may have felt like there hasn't been anything to celebrate in your career for a while. If, I mean, if you've just received this good news, then that's brilliant. But if you haven't, it's about to show up for you. So don't despair if you've been feeling that things have been a bit mundane recently. There is some really good news on the horizon for you with that Three of Cups. It tends to mean people coming together and sort of like enjoying themselves or celebrating a win. Uh, also, the Three of Cups is about sharing resources. So I feel like um, with the Hangman, you may be in downtime, you may be actually looking at videos online on YouTube or on other social media platforms about how to grow businesses or how to enhance your skills or how to sort of uh, come together and show support, solidarity uh, with each other as you move towards your goal. So I definitely feel like there's a circle of support here. Um, with the Hangman and the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, it can mean that you've been putting off um, going out uh, frivolously spending with friends so that you can get serious about finances or get serious about your career and focus because I feel this energy of you putting things off for a little bit um, of course um, finding that balance between seeing your friends and you know you don't have to go out and see your friends and, and spend money of course uh, you know friends and love is all free you can all come together and enjoy yourself that way but I just get this energy of you trying to temper things um, financially but also try and move forward on your uh, business. Now, some of you may be wanting to set up on your own because the hermit energy is a solitary energy. So some of you may be an entrepreneur or you're setting up your own business. If you already work from home, for example, some of you may be feeling a little bit lonely and uh, you know uh, missing that uh, camaraderie from um, the office workspace. So some of you may actually put yourself out there to join a hobby or a group or even enhance your skills with like-minded people so you feel like you're part of a community rather than working alone in a solitary entity. So that I'm picking up that energy there as well. Now, the outcome energy, we've got the High Priestess. You're very intuitive. You're someone who has naturally uh, got a lot of uh, natural instinct and flair for what you do. Also, the uh, sort of High Priestess energy is about your inner wisdom. You have a lot of knowledge, okay? Sometimes you know stuff and you don't even know why you know stuff. And it's no accident that you are actually talented at what you do. And sometimes you're just naturally good at stuff that some people take years to learn or, uh, you know, uh, study, but you're actually naturally good at this, okay? Whatever this is for you. Now, some of you may be uh, worrying about time. Uh, when it comes to your career, you may feel like I should have been a little bit further ahead in my career by now, or I thought I'd be a millionaire by now. I know all, you know, money isn't the be all and end all of anything. Um, you know, of course, it's important, as I said, to pay bills. We all need it. Um, but I feel if you're sort of 
questioning the path, your guides want you to be aware you're exactly where you're meant to be in this moment. Now, a lot of you are perhaps working on a secret project or working on um, a goal that you're not really telling anybody about because the high priestess is mute. She keeps things in silence. She keeps things to herself, okay? So this could be a period of gestation, uh, especially with the hermit there. It's like going off grid to really work really hard or focus or not have any distraction as you employ your knowledge in your career to further yourself and get ahead of the game. So I definitely see you all sort of working really hard um, and using your um, innate knowledge to bring things together. Things are starting to take shape in your career and move you forward. Now, the Justice card also is a card of getting some good karma, but it's more than that. It's about the effort you put into your career and getting what you truly deserve out of it. Now, life, we all know, doesn't tend to work that way. Some of us work for many, many years and we're, you know, um, we feel like we should have more to show for what we've put into the system so far. So I feel sometimes it is an unbalanced system. I mean, most of the time it's an unbalanced system, but we have to sort of fight against the system in order to make our work speak for itself and empower ourselves and um, accomplish things regardless. So, and I feel that energy from your reading, which is basically even no matter the obstacles or the blockages or the things that you feel that are against you, my beautiful Gemini, I feel like you're overcoming that and you're making it happen for yourself, okay? Now, the Justice card also is a card of a lot of paperwork to deal with, um, you know, signing contracts or documents or making thing, making sure things are in order, or making sure you return emails. Uh, I know that sounds really humdrum and boring, but that's how you, practical I feel like you are and the sense of effort you have to put into your career so far. So some of you, you may be putting your resume out there to get another opportunity. If you are currently not in a job or you're currently looking for a new job, there's definitely two on the horizon. One is a bit more money oriented, depends on which one you want. And the other one is a little bit more connected to a goal or a dream. It's like a dream come true job. I feel like you can have the best of both worlds, okay? Um, so <clears throat> watch out for that as well. Also with the justice, uh, if you're offered a contract, this has shown up in quite a few readings now. Four readings so far, the justice card has shown up, which indicates that there could be some sort of contractual change in um, your office or wherever you work, or there may be changes to a contract or even to things like taxes um, or things that may sort of impact your working practices, okay? So watch out for those. Make sure you um, sort of look at the small print to make sure there's nothing lurking there that you weren't aware of um, and, and make sure you are aware of how it implements or how it uh, affects you, let's put it that way, uh, how the implementations affect you. Especially if you've worked at a company for say 10, 20 years and then suddenly they're bringing in new working practices and new contracts, um, the bonuses and the benefits that you may have had before may become nullified because they're offering a new contract. So be mindful of things like that if uh, that's, because uh, I feel there's restructuring going on within certain work practices. If you work for yourself, you may notice that clients um, try to change contract clauses, or you may see that there is a change in dynamics uh, regarding accounting or you know, taxes and uh, VATs and things like that, you know. So you may notice these sort of fluctuations during this period. And these are things that you really need to focus on and make sure you are aware of the implications for your business. Okay. Now, the Hermit card was the first card that popped out there for you. This is you being very wise, making really wise decisions about your career, but it's also about going inwards for enlightenment. So if you've been feeling a little bit unfulfilled or lackluster where you're at right now, this is about you really philosophically thinking things through and, you know, being sort of honest with yourself where you're like, okay, my working day takes up eight, nine, some of us 14 hours a day and you know, of course, we don't always enjoy parts of our work, but we try to enjoy the majority of it because it takes up a large portion of our lives and our lives are important. So some of you may be trying to uh, restructure your working practices to find more time for you or more time for areas of your life that you feel have suffered or have you've not really focused on because you've been focusing on your career. So the Hermit indicates you're going inwards for inspiration. 
Also with the Hermit, I feel this is a card that is uh, sort of indicative of people going solo, maybe setting up your own business or even trying to work from home. If there's any sort of crisis or any sort of um, restructure going on in your workplace at this time, some of you may be trying to just like hunker down and ignore any office politics or drama so that you just are left to your own devices. You don't get mixed up in it. And you know, it's almost like you let the storm pass over. Okay. Uh, the Hermit has the star in the lantern. So that's all about inspiration, new ideas coming to you in silence. So I feel a lot of you will be brainstorming over the next four to five weeks, using your imagination, stretching your imagination in order to um, enhance your career experience and further your career as well, okay? Um, some of you, as I said, will be trying to work from home, doing something creative that you love. It may be a side hustle. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of uh, Cups tells me that you may be pulled in different directions or have to make a choice. You'll do a lot of multitasking, but ultimately I feel like you're going to be very productive and enjoy what you do, okay? Uh, Knight of Cups is following your bliss, knowing that you have a lot to offer when it comes to your career and also to your life in general. This is a card of not focusing on the money. Love is more important or having, uh, you know, care and devotion and making your mark. Um, however, whenever you get this card, it is good to educate yourself in money matters as well. Okay. So especially if you're an artist and, you know, uh, back in the day, you know, all the artists that I used to hang around with and, the, you know, the performers and things like that, they're all like, you know what, my accountant will take care of it. I don't need to think about money. I want, you know, it's not that they didn't need to think about money. Of course, they needed to pay bills and things like that. But they always said they were not financially savvy. So they were like, okay, as long as I can keep eating and paying my rent and things like that, then I'm good. But as they got older, the hermit card, you know, more mature, it's about understanding how money works and how you can use it to influence um, your um, sort of um, your career and also how you can use it in a very savvy way, like how you can use like um, taxes and things like that to um, sort of grow your business. Uh, I don't understand any of these things, but it's coming up in the reading for some reason. Now, there hasn't been any images in the water or any songs or anything like that, which is so weird. I put it down to at the moment, I haven't, I'm not fully running on all cylinders for, because I've been unwell, of course, <coughs> excuse me, I've been uh, unwell. So I feel like um, the images are not coming as much because my eyes have been very, very sore. So uh, with this bug, so, you know, I feel like my guys are giving me a little bit of a break, but they've just given me an image in the water right now, which is like a jack in the box. Jack in the box. So that's kind of like a surprise, right? So uh, I'm just going to see what that could be all about for you. Um, there should, I mean, could literally be that you've got children and you bought them a Jack in the box, or I mean, we've got uh, Halloween coming up, Sawain, you know, so that could be like, you know, surprises or scary sort of Jack in the box kind of movie type things. Um, so I'm not really sure how to uh, decode that, but it can mean that there is going to be some sort of surprise um, in your career. Um, also, with the jack-in-the-box, it can mean that it's a symbol that you will see over the next four to five weeks that will indicate some good news to celebrate. There's financial news attached to your career opportunity, and I feel like it's something to celebrate with your friends. It's a win, okay? So it's something that you're going to be really excited about. Can you please show me this jack-in-the-box energy? Four of Pentacles. Now, it's interesting because the Four of Pentacles, uh, you know, the Four of Pentacles in this particular deck, the person is actually putting all the money in a box. So it could be like surprise money opportunity. Uh, we've got Four of Pentacles is like um, Five of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Okay, so the Knight of Cups is showing up again for you. Um, the Four of Pentacles is basically protect your finances, make sure you hold on to uh, the money that you've got. Um, this is about long-term security, it's about building a solid foundation financially. And we've got the Five of Cups here as well. Now the Five of Cups is an interesting card, especially when you apply it to um, you know, your career. It can mean that right now you feel um, not great at the moment or you feel like things are not going as well as you'd hoped, but actually things are better than they seem. Um, you may not see that because the universe is working a surprise behind the scenes. Um, the, the Four of Pentacles also sort of indicates um, that you are someone who is... Um, 
you know, working really hard, uh, working hard for the money, of course, but also you find that you're not going out there and having fun or you're not enjoying yourself as much. And the Five of Cups sort of indicates that um, for some of you that you have some regrets or you feel unfulfilled in areas of your career uh, because you feel like you've been like working really hard and there's just not as much enjoyment as you'd hoped for. The Knight of Cups indicates following your heart when it comes to your career, that you have a lot to offer and that things can be enjoyable. You can have fun doing what you love and earn money on uh, whilst doing it. But it's about finding the motivation and the time to set up something that really sets your soul on fire and it will attract more abundance. So this could be a second stream of income um, that some of you may be sort of using. I feel like you will be surprised. I feel like the Jack and Buck's energy is like you will surprise yourself at your own ingenuity. Now the Wheel of Fortune is actually a surprise card so uh, it tends to mean a really positive breakthrough, a sudden lucky break, a surprise, a gamble that you take that pays off. I feel like it is a calculated risk. It's not a gamble that you just sort of flippantly do in your career because the, the Hermit is present which means you have thought this through and it also indicates that um, you've used your wisdom in order to make that decision. So the Wheel of Fortune is a really positive card of prosperity coming your way, but it is also a reminder that it can be easy come, easy go. Now, when it comes to finances, the Wheel of Fortune, you should always cross it with another card for finances. So I'm just going to do that for you. Uh, Seven of Swords. Thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? Okay, so Gemini, your card has even shown up, King of Swords there. Um, so the Seven of Swords is basically, you know, don't do anything risky. Don't take any quick, rich, you know, get quick, rich schemes or anything like that. Uh, Seven of Swords is a card of, um, how can I feel like, it's like Seven of Swords can be like, Someone at work who is, you know, does not have your back it can be someone who's causing a few issues at work. It can mean um, that someone could steal your ideas. So take care of your ideas or of your money. Um, this is a card of, you know, protecting what you've got already. OK, um, now when it comes to the Wheel of Fortune, uh, I'm clarifying it. So if you've been going through any difficulties, the Three of Wands indicates looking for other opportunities. Uh, that may be out there. So if you're not enjoying your experience at your workplace right now because you feel like there's a lot of office politics or you know you just feel like you've run the end of its course, you've hit a glass ceiling, the Three of Wands indicates the world is your oyster and there are opportunities that lie right at your feet. This is a card of expansion. It's a card of sort of opportunities headed your way and you being um, able to align yourself with your heart's desire. But the King of Swords says, think before you act. So don't put yourself in a precarious position by leaving your work without having something else to go to, for example, unless you feel like you're financially able to sort of um, sustain yourself during that waiting period. Uh, the King of Swords indicates you're totally bossing up and you are in control. So when you have the King of Swords energy, uh, this is a card of you being a pro when it comes to your finances, you being able to command good money towards you and not having any financial work. Worries, okay it's about taking action but so I see you safeguarding yourself here now also with the seven of swords this can you know it doesn't always have to be a negative the seven of swords the seven of swords can be like having an exit plan so it can mean how do I go independent because the seven of swords is an, a card of independence doing things differently and not you know um, people pleasing so it can mean how can I use my skill set to go independent and leave this place or even you know how can I do more for my own or my, my own business and you know you know put a little bit of effort into another opportunity that perhaps uh, is just ticking over and paying the bills right now the seven of swords uh, the tradition of this card is that you know as you can see there's a little tense you know these are the army has stopped to rest 
and they are preparing to re-energize themselves for battle. And this figure here is taking the swords away, is taking the weaponry away because he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want there to be a war. He doesn't want to uh, create any drama. So he's actually trying to help in the way that he knows best by taking away the um, sort of ammunition and the weapons so that there can be peace. So um, also this card can indicate um, don't be too quick to make a decision or don't be too quick because you may miss something. So um, be mindful of anything, any decisions that you've got to make. Uh, take your time with it. Three of Wands says think, watch, observe, pay attention. And then your patience will lead you to make good decisions as you strategize. Your plans will um, bear fruit and they will work. So um, I feel like it's a positive turning of events. Um, if there's been anything negative going on in your career, the Wheel of Fortune symbolizes a shift and a turn in a better direction, okay? But there's also good fortune headed your way as well. It tends to mean destiny meeting synchronicity and fate intervening to bring you good fortune and prosperity. So I'm just going to get some final cards for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? Uh, they're showing me the jack-in-the-box again. Uh, so, for example, um, some of you um, either have been looking at a jack-in-the-box right now or um, you're going to see like a video of a jack-in-the-box right after this video. Or So please take it as it resonates. Uh, you'll notice a jack-in-the-box in the next four to five weeks. Sometimes these images and these songs mean absolutely nothing in the moment. And then um, your guides uh, sort of show it to you in your day-to-day -day so that you can apply the message you heard um, in the reading and be like, oh, that message was for me because I just saw the jack-in-the-box or I just saw the feathers, I just saw the stars, I just saw the spinning top. Whatever it is that comes through, your guides are channeling uh, in order, they're picking up the messages um, just like as you're listening to them, they're also then pointing you in the sort of direction of the image so you can see it in your own day to day. OK, um, now we've got coffin here. OK, so that can mean something's ended and you're embracing something new. So it can be even that your old way of working old way of, pra you know, old working practices are changing and there's something new, something better. Uh, you're breathing new life into your career. It can even be that, you know, um, your workspace, if you work in an office, because we've got office work or night shift work or a job ending, um, if you've got any challenges, you know, things like that, it can mean that you are sort of going to hear that your boss or, you know, brings in a new package at work, a new uh, sort of electrical package or uh, I don't know what you, what do you call those things um, programs and things like that that you'll have to learn it's new and it's cutting edge and it means change a change of working practice in your career and it enhances your skills but also streamlines and makes your life and job easier so it can mean things like that um, but if there's been any bad investments or you feel like you've been struggling with finances and things like that or a job has come to an end. I feel like you've got some really positive energy coming in here. I feel like you've got new sort of opportunities headed your way. But I feel like you have to leave something in order to gain something better. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, we've also got the book, which is all about knowledge, of course. Um, so if something is ending, we've got paperwork, contracts. That's already come up here with your justice card. Learning as you go. Writing, taking a class, education and law. So some of you may be getting new skills. Um, you know, in order to enhance your uh, career. If you're ending something, you may even uh, go and get a new skill or a certificate in order to help you uh, in some other area of your career. Or some of you, as I said, there's a, I get this real strong vibe of a second hustle going on. So some of you, whilst you're working in a certain job um, that you feel can go nowhere, Okay, you may feel like it doesn't go anywhere, um, but you may be learning skills at night, going to night class or things like that in order to uh, pick up like a second stream of income or embrace like a hobby or something that you do that you can make money out of it. And finally, we've got frame. Okay, so that's really positive. We've got steady income coming in, organizing, accomplishments, art design, home oriented and self-employed. And that really showed up in your last pile there. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So I definitely see uh, you working towards something or even sort of philosophically mulling it over. How do I work from home? How do I get to enjoy my craft? How do I become self-employed? How do I set up my own business, become an entrepreneur? If you're already that, I definitely see you reaping the rewards of your hard work and things expanding and growing. So I feel like you're reframing the way that you work and I feel like an old working practice is coming to an end and I feel like you're embracing it and enjoying it and actually uh, on the move, on the rise, okay? Uh, now I'm just going Going to get a ruin before we close they've given me two oh i'm loving this okay so the first one we got here is the sun which is victory clear vision success also this uh, ruin connects to the home space and also getting advice so some of you as i said you may be trying to set up um, second streams of income from home that may end up actually as your main stream of income in the end. And of course, we've got the hero ruin, which is all about your potential. It's also about freedom. So freeing up your time to make more time for things that you can enjoy. Okay. So definitely uh, some of you may be writers because that book is really highlighted to me at the moment. Some of you may be um, doing something to do with writing that may be something um, that actually earns you a lot of money there. Um, some of you may even write about your own story and make it into a book or an online uh, sort of blog, things like that, that will actually uh, bring in some money. I mean, TikToks and things like that, people talking about their experiences. I definitely see things like that happening as well. Okay, so I will leave it there, my beautiful Gemini. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Gemini. Love and light.